Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bibi. If you like what you see today, please like, subscribe, comment. Also follow me on Instagram, which is also Bibi Longlegs. So let's get started. So I had such a good reaction from the Gian Battista Valley collaboration video that I did that I wanted to show you all the pieces that I got from the past four years. I didn't start doing the collaborations until the Balmain, um, which was 2015. So I did the Balmain, the Kenzo, I skipped Erdam, it wasn't my style. Um, and then Moschino and the Giambattista. So I wanted to show you the pieces that I got and also how I style them. So let's start with the Balmain. So, and oh, let me go back. Okay, you know Balmain was like, it was like catastrophic. It, it was insane, you know, you saw all the videos of people getting in fights and a herd of people uh, running into the stores and running around. So everything that I got from the Balmain collection, I did not get in the store. I got it on eBay. So <laughs> just let you know. So one of the first pieces I got was the rope top in black and it is beautiful. I mean, I mean, all of you know that the Balmain co collection was made very well. I mean, I felt like I know H&M released it, but I felt like I was really getting a ball on piece. So the only thing about this top is that um, the zipper in the back, it's um, when you're sitting, like especially when you're driving, it kind of hurts your, you know, your back a little bit. So that's the only complaint I have, but it's made really well. I love it. I love this top. Um, next, I got the bright pink, like. 80s top with the shoulder pads so bright i love it you know especially with my skin tone i can't wait to show you how i styled it um has three beautiful gold buttons on the sleeve and then three across here so nice all right and then the last two i did not want to get but when i saw on ebay that an actual balmain fur jacket was like ten thousand dollars i was like yeah 200 is nothing so i oops that's from the other jacket so i got the red one the red and black one so cute <laughs> and it has leather cuffs um and leather um lining where the buttons are really cute and soft and the, i got the other faux fur jacket too that has that was made with vegan leather, um, along with the belt, and it has a little clasp inside. If you want to clasp it inside, usually when I wear it, I just wear it over my shoulders, and I rarely ever use the belt. And if you were lucky, shopping on eBay, you really get you're able to get a garment bag, which I got. I got one. Okay, next is a Kenzo. And believe it or not, like I got more pieces with the Kenzo than I did with the Balmain. And when the Kenzo came out, I was like, this is some of the ugliest stuff I've ever seen. But let me tell you, I get the most compliments with the Kenzo collection. So first I got were the sock booties with the plastic heel and little diagonal sole. So cute, tiger straps. And even men, like, they're like asking me, where'd you get those boots? <laughs> so. Next, I got the tiger stripe two piece, like one piece, you know, if you, you'll see when I put it on. It looks like it's, whole, it's a one piece. But um, yeah, this is super cute, I love this. Next I got was this coat. Now this is the this is one of the coats I was like, this is the ugliest coat I ever saw. But I watched some videos of people that did the haul. And every video I saw, this jacket looks so expensive. It's crazy. And it looks good on men and women. I think Kenzo was the first collection that was unisex for me. Like men and women could wear everything pretty much that came out so and it's made really well i love the gold detail on the buttons that you see here and um 
It's the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower on the buttons. And it also has it on the sleeve too. And the other coat I got was the black coat with the blue detachable thing. You can you can take this off if you want. I like it better on. And this coat, <laughs> same thing, I was like, it's so boxy. Like, who would want that? But let me tell you, I get so many compliments every time I wear this coat. And how I wear it, I just usually I just wear it over my shoulders. Very rare. Unless it's really cold, do I button it up? But it's a really nice coat. Like men, same thing, men and women, they love this coat. Okay, let's open that up. And I got this skirt. Now this skirt is reversible. You can wear it the pink side or you can wear it the red side. I love the red side better. And um, I have to give a disclosure. The Kinzel hangers are not that good. So if you see them on eBay, don't buy them because they, they're not very strong. Like this is a very heavy skirt and sometimes it falls out of the hanger. So, but um, love the skirt. And next I got were these wide pants. Now, initially when I saw this, I just wanted the pants. I didn't want to get the top because, you know, I just don't, I didn't want to be matchy-matchy. But I ended up getting the top because it's so cute. And also, these pants are reversible. So you can wear the flower side or you can wear the bright green side. And I'm going to show you both sides, how I style it. And the top... If you style it the right way, it can look like Dolce and Gabbana. I'm not kidding. I'll show you. Okay. Now the accessories I got. I got this scarf, this silk scarf. The earrings. The orange printed earrings. And it also came with matching orange bracelet cuff and a green one that I also got and when I wear these I usually wear them together one on each arm okay so that is all the puzzle next I got that I know you're gonna forget is a Victoria Beckham for Target <laughs> yes I think this was the first time I ever did a shopping for the collaborations when she came out because I wanted this little jumper. So cute. Um, now, because, I guess because it was Target, everything was polyester. Everything was made out of polyester. But the, um, some of the designs are really cute. And let me tell you, if you're a plus size woman and you didn't get anything from this collection, mistake. Because... I felt like everything, um, it was designed for plus size women. I felt like this collection, it was made for you. Like everything looked better on the plus size models than the regular models. So if you can still get pieces from this collection and you're plus size, I would do it because it's really flattering. So I got this jumper and I got this scarf. I don't know what made me get this scarf when I saw it because I'm really not a scarf person. Like I'm not the type that ties scarves around my neck or, you know, use it. You know, people tie it on their purses and all that. I don't do that. But for some reason, like I saw the calla lilies and I was like, I want this scarf. And then I was like, look how big it is. And I went like this and I was like, it's a skirt. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I styled this. And next was a mosquito. And of course, you know, we all wanted that lock purse that we couldn't get. And the other thing we wanted was that little leather jacket purse that each store only had like two. So the first three people online grabbed them all. So anyway, so I ended up having the order, getting the leather jacket purse on eBay. But when I was in the store, um, I went back like the next day after the collaboration dropped and I was like, I want to get something. So I got this top and then I was like, I saw these in the men's section. I was like, 
do you think that'll work as a suit? And it does. So I got this woman's top and a man's pants and I made a suit, a Moschino suit out of it. So I'll show you how that looks. And this is actually the only thing I got on the day of the collaboration was this little CD purse. Um, I was gonna say I'll show you what I put in there, but that's actually easy to put stuff in. But <laughs> I'll show you how much stuff I put in this one. Now this is a little little leather jacket purse that everyone wanted that sold out in like seconds. Love this little cute little thing. I wear it with my leather jacket. I'll show you what I put in there. It's amazing what you can fit in there. And last but not least, after I did my back to the store with Ian Batista video, I went back and got that red top because it just looks so good. And actually I took a friend with me and she got the same red top because she likes it so much. So, but I had to fight for my hair. Like they wanted to keep my hair. So anyway, let's get started. I'll show you how I styled everything. <laughs> 